That tutorial was really ugly. I'm sorry. You can't help it. Sometimes it's just like, oh, no, there's spaghetti all over the floor. Uh, what do I do? This is must be this must be what it like is like to do ILs in this game, or in a in, in base game where you have all the challenge modes and there's all the ILs for those. These guys should be no problem. Laura, stay close. Huh. There you go. Perfect. Catch. Never again. You're like Park of Thorns. Catch. Our bond makes my power boundless. Now Park of Thorns. You'll answer to me. Uh okay, I just missed stuff to you, I guess. Okay. okay. More holes with each day. Yeah, that one blew there we go. Away. Oh goodness. How is that not enough? And then I get blocked. I need your help. <laughs> That's a terrible activation time, 148. I mean, it's not bad, but it should have been like 146 at least. Midnight Sun! Why is this my life? To suffer in tutorial fights? To writhe in agony of tutorial. To wonder why tutorial time isn't doesn't matter yet somehow. It, deep down, you feel like it matters. You feel like it's important. You feel like it somehow contributes to the run. But These no, it's really just two minutes no wasted. And it almost this. never makes a difference at the end of the day how good it is. Cool. Dude, I got three dollars. I can go buy a single soda with that, cause the soda machine I think it works is like one seventy five. Dang, feels bad. Why is everything got to be so expensive? Addictive. I think I got one onion there, so I'm good. This is becoming addictive. If not, I'll just pick up the whatever Shit. it is. Nope, we're good. This is becoming addictive. Don't spoil your appetite. Just taste it. You know, I don't have the energy to talk about early game collections today. Normally, I'd make some comment about avocados or anything like that, or maybe some, you know, maybe some onions or crap like that. But no, no comments on that today. Not until something dumb happens. No, sir. 
two lilies. Okay, you know what? I, I just made a comment on it. Dang it. <laughs> Broke my own rules. Does that mean I'm banned from my own chat? This is, a, this is an interesting question. I have me. no clue. No clue this what this means addictive. for long-term implications of the full cat chat. What would it be like if you're like banned from your own stream? This is becoming like, addictive. You stream or whatever. But like uh You can't make comments. If you talk, like Aren't we you, uh, the the mic auto silence. Like there's no mic. Yeah, there's no mic. You can't chat. This you're just banned from your own chat, but you're the streamer. You're so weird. There's a wall. There's like, it's like, it's like there's like a metaphorical wall between you and your streamer. I mean, there's also a literal one because you guys aren't in the same room with me. That'd also be kind of weird. But the weird part would be that you're viewing me, like you're watching on your phone instead of like just sitting on the couch. Like, I don't know. Aren't we <laughs> that one would. That would oh, goodness. We made it. Too many shower Good thoughts stuff. tonight. This is becoming addictive. I, I didn't see what the item was because of the tutorial. That's a shame because the item might have been standing. This is becoming too. addictive. Aren't we intrepid? Dang it! <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what it is about this like kind of sore throat slash cough I have going on. I don't know. I don't know what what Aren't it's about. Aren't we intrepid? Why do this? Oh, this is not good. We made it. Good stuff. Aren't we intrepid? So Just a sand upa. This is becoming okay. addictive. <laughs> you have like a, you have an insanely high chance to get a single sand upa from one pole. It's like 70-ish percent. I just got it. I did not get it three times in a row there. Well, I didn't see the first one, so I had to go for a second one. I'm coming along in leaps and bounds. It's ridiculous. Tempered by discipline. It's not like the biggest time waste until like the uh, until the fourth try doesn't work, but it is silly. <clears throat> it is definitely silly. That 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 is much for certain. This is becoming addictive. I have like one cotton branch, maybe two. It's not enough. Heads up, people! Just focus. I'll protect you. You're a lifesaver. For my bomb. Come on. Yeah, Let's get on the floor. Come on. For my, if I must. Yeah, get out of here. I don't want to get hit with your beam blaster. Come on. Don't overdo it. It's very rude, sir. Did, didn't you think about me before using that attack? You know I don't like that. Get that crap out of here. If I must. For my boss. Uh, it's a little slow, but that was mainly because of extra collections. Heads up, people! Stay That's with the floor going to be the death of me one day. Why do I get roped into this? Why do you always get roped into this, Adam? Why do we do this every day? Why do we do this every day, expecting something different to happen? I don't know. Thanks. Let's heal up. Come on. Remember, you brought this on yourself. Come on. 
Go to Adam, please. Not a bad fight. Doesn't look like we'll be capturing you then. Not a bad fight at all. I thought that would go way worse. Usually when you fail to get the second bar meter for uh Mithra to topple shenanigans, you lose time. That went fine. That went absolutely fine. Aren't we intrepid? Yay, a crab. That's all I wanted. All I ever wanted in life was a crab. But my parents wouldn't let me have one. So instead I ended up playing Xenoblade where all the crabs are the main antagonist really. Xenoblade X, I'm Xenoblade Torna. I guess like long. the main series games, it's not as big of an issue, but I, I, I just treat X like it's oh. not a main series game. I mean, I to be fair, it's really spotted. not. <laughs> it's just like a game. So it's, it's its own thing. Lives in a strange, I feel far off world. Break. How about Don't this? overdo it. I'm it's my turn. Fine. Just Adam, fine. Kill that already? Try this on the side. Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. I wonder if anyone actually has a pet crab. I don't think they'd be like a bad pet. It'd be kind of a weird pet though. What would you name your what would you name a pet crab? Oh god. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to think about that question. Like, what would you name a pet crab? What could you possibly name a pet crab? Aren't we intrepid? I don't know. It's just like Stanley, I guess. Like that's a name. Don't know if the crab would, would appreciate such name. We'd be more than happy to assist. I I really don't know what you'd name a pet crab. Holy smokes! Send help. My bra my brain is like completely transfixed on this too. Like, what would what would you name that? Like, Kevin? Would you name a pet crab Kev? What is? I mean, Kevin the crab. I think that kind of works. We cannot turn them away. Whoosh. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Aren't we intrepid? Imagine if you, like, trained a pet crab to do tricks. Like, he, like, fetches a ball Aren't or whatever. We intrepid? Which would be pretty impressive for a crab. Right? Now you're following along, right? So. Uh -oh. I think like, what would you think about that? Like, like yeah. I, I've got, yeah. some guy comes up to you like, check out my pet crab. And he just like throws a ball and like the crab goes and gets it and brings it back. And you're like, what the heck did it fall? Single 
That was a pretty good fight anyways. Despite not getting the topple. It's a nice change of pace. Aren't we All right. Remind me why we're here again? Yay, we got a sand dupa. We did it. We got the collectible. I still haven't figured out a good name for a pet crab yet. Ugh. <laughs> like What if you called him like General Ironsides? I think I would name a crab that, yeah. That has a great crab name, actually. Oh, yeah. Now I need to get a pet crab. I can't just make up a good name and not get one, right? But I need like a heating lamp. I think hermit crabs need that if you have those as pets. My senses are heightened. Yeah, we got this. Oh, I did not mean to do it, man. Aquatic Hunter. That's in case I need to kill the crab. I don't know, you can just launch him. There you go. The suspense is killing me. Alright. So if you got a pet crab, do you think you could like get it to wear a hat? Could you imagine getting a pet crab and make him wear a little like little top hat? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be so great. I don't care what everybody thinks. I think having a crab and a top hat would be amazing. You could probably also get him to wear a monocle. He's got big old eyes. Aren't we intrepid? I know I should be talking about how the run's going, but like, I'm I'm so in, in just uh, enthralled by the idea of a pet crab right now. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Ooh, wait! Instead of General Iron Ironsides, he called Mr. Pinchy. Ooh. This is becoming addictive. Like, someone comes over to visit, like, who's that? Oh, that's Mr. Pinchy. What? We're like, oh, they have... A, why, why do you have a crab? Like, why is there a crab in your house? No, that's Mr. Pinchy. What? How reliable. Also, Jin's stuck on a fence. Poor Jin. Mr. Pinchy wouldn't get stuck on a fence. Come on, Jin. One less problem in the world. Oh, I have like no cotton ranch. That's really bad. I thought I had like five, not two. I'll grab a couple more for now. Even on familiar ground, we must stay Aren't vigilant. We intrepid. Okay, that should be good. At least for now. I'll need another one for later, but I got at least two here, so I can get at least another one Even for the, ground, whatever it's called. We must stay vigilant. We'll be losing time, though. It's all Mr. Pinchy's fault, even though he doesn't exist. He's just a imaginary pet. Thanks for that. You know, kids have imaginary friends. Why don't they have imaginary pets? Pets are way better. You could have an imaginary dog that breathes fire. No one can stop you. A happy but no, you want an imaginary tall guy or something like that. Come on now. Yeah, that's about how much time it takes to get an extra pull. A little bit less. You could have like an imaginary pet cat that like 
has like static electric, like static shock the cat. Whoa, that'd be a cool, that'd be a cool imaginary pet. But no, your imaginary friend would just be a lame human. Gross. So wrong. All right, follow my lead. All right, got the crabble care piece. Very good. This is becoming addictive. So we're out of early game. I did. I did take a little bit of extra time to get another. Uh, get another grimdark crab, but that easily was worth the time. I wasn't losing time to crabs, especially when I'm talking about Mr. Pinchy. The most precious of all crabs that I have invented. This is becoming addictive. And it's definitely a real crab, not a fake one. Real crabs have legs. <laughs> I actually have to think now because we're in Gormont. This is becoming addictive. Which is a shame. I know I'm not. I know I'm not great at the whole thinking thing, but gotta fire up the two brain cells. Gotta make them do something tonight. I said I'd do it, so consider it. Oh done. wait, I have three brain cells now. I forgot my brain expanded after making a big, big brain play last week. Ah, oh, it's so hard to keep track of how many I got moving. This is becoming addictive. This is becoming addictive. I think I have all the Ruska flower, but I Here we are. might be short one. I'm very likely to get another one collecting Who's anyway, in? so I'm not going to worry about it. More importantly, I need to get the Hyacinth. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm just pronouncing it the way it's spelled. You ever get that feeling where, you, like, you, you see a word and you pronounce it out loud, and you're like, "I don't know if that's right." Like, I see the word, but everything in my brain says that's not the word. That, that's not the way you're supposed to uh, pronounce that word. It's like when you see the the P in pterosaur or something like that. Pterodactyl. It's an, it's, it's an intimidating, intimidating letter. You're not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be done. I'll keep giving it my all. Looks like you're getting... uh, no. I half the battle is Oh, good thing we have all that aquatic hunter for all the not fish we'll be fighting in this run. Take that imaginary enemies. <laughs> Imagine having an imaginary rival. That would also be weird. Nice it's definitely a step defense. down from imaginary all friend. Right. Remind me why we're here again? You don't need to imagine a rival. You just need to find one so you can fight. It's some sort of like epic anime showdown thing. Heads off, people! Never again! I do not tolerate failure. It's his turn. Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again! Never again! Sometimes I wonder if these guys are. Because they keep saying the same thing all the time. 
His turn. Go on, Adam, launch. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> Adam's uh, switching is a topple, so I almost got the topple there. The topple definitely would have made the difference because this probably will not kill on break fusion. I guess there might be things I don't know yet. I need to wrap this up before Lord Hugo arrives. I lost time. I don't know how. My Bridget fight's not that good in my PB. Like, it's decent. It's an, it's an okay fight in my PB, but it's not great. I hope we'll be able to help. change of pace this is becoming right. addictive remind me why we're here again okay i need like one panda pansy and one hydrangea and then i'm done with flowers aren't we intrepid which is pretty good flower collections all things considered usually at this point you only have like you still need a couple more panda this is pansy becoming addictive. maybe another uh Ace, please. Proc. I don't know what I did to make Cormac go like this, but this is new. It's already off to a this oof start. A perfect base of operations. I never have enough puzzle tree wood for Hugo's crafting sometimes. It's always the one that I think it, uh, is the most difficult to make up for. I have to do late crafting instead, which loses a little bit of time. Not much I can do about it, though. I think we've been spotted. Launch it. No one can stop us now. What an incredible feeling. We're all waiting to go. Oh no, I lost point one seconds. The run's over. What a shame. Actually, I should have saved time there. I guess um, Adam just being that slow is a problem. I don't know. Aren't you glad you asked us? Got to reset. Exactly. How's it going, Vulcan? Like, you lose point one seconds. It's like, is it even a speed run anymore? New world record. Uh, in what? <laughs> or are you talking about this run? Also, how's it going, Greg? This run? Uh, it's got a chance. It's, like, I've already have a 30 second time save for later, and I'm not done with Gormont yet. 
You could easily save a ton of time on the end of Gromont. I'm not a Drongo. Call, call me that. It's very rude, sir. Are you kidding me? I got broke out of my AoE twice. I should have been more careful about it, but still. Break. Are you fucking... Oh my god. Break. That probably won't joint combo finish, because... Haze, basically. Nope, it, it worked. Okay. Just wondering what time Crash 4 and Rise Demo 2 will come up tomorrow. They'll probably come up at the same time to annoy you. So that way you can't entertain yourself with one while you wait for the other. Aren't we intrepid? Okay, I think I have one with my Confusion Ivy now. Only thing I can get from this, this that I need is Panda Pansy. Of course I don't get it. This is becoming addictive. Yeah, I should be done with veggies. This is becoming addictive. Aren't we intrepid? Hydrangea, thank you. I didn't get the pan the pansy, but it's okay. Aren't we intrepid? That's the last opportunity to get a uh, hydrangea without losing well, time in the run. Here we are. I say we rest. Aren't we intrepid? Who's in? You hope not. I'm pretty sure the. The Switch Online Store updates like everything at the same time of the day, so it's more than likely that way. It's not that it's built to screw you over; it's just built to be convenient for the people that make it. Let's see what we have here. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Okay, I have to I have to remember this menu. I always forget this menu. Or not always, but like a lot of the times I forget this menu. The culmination of years of sovereignty. With this power, the way is clear. I can keep on going, especially at this rate. Is it me or have I become strong? My flame burns ever brighter. This power wow, I'm actually short for Star this Slash. Is for I usually you. prefer to get that if this I can. Be wild. Just because Star Slash no is just such a good move. This be it's wild. slow, but it does so much damage. Especially if you can get like a fusion for it. This is becoming addictive. I need like two puzzle tree wood here. For optimal luck. Okay, I got the two. Then I just need like two dicey stone from these rock points. Aren't we intrepid? Oh, I got one. There's still one up top though. Uh. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. These guys should be no problem. Indeed. Let's our bands together. We need to regroup. My friends, put your minds at ease. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. We at 64? Heck yeah, we are. We're very close to that, Hugo. That Hugo solo. Okay, there's one. Not bad. Is the key to assuring 
Is that another one? Okay. Look at that. There's another two. Very nice. There's another one. So we're at five. And I got Hunter's chemistry as well. Very, very good. Aren't we intrepid? Anyways, more importantly, dicey intrepid? stone, please. Okay. I got all the rocks I needed there, actually. Aren't I did look intrepid? like only a little bit into Hugo Solo. I didn't want to look too much. I didn't want to like ruin it. Make it not as interesting because you know I think there is some uh some fun in the what will this be like and then you get blown away and you have to think a way of a way through it. I definitely think gargoyles are going to be kind of a meme though. I don't know what that will look like with a solo Hugo. You might have to do like a lot of extra quests just to have enough experience to not get completely bopped by them because they're pretty terrible. Malice one will also be like just a slow, slow fight. It's like an unstoppable force meets an unbreakable object. Or Im immovable, excuse me. I know it'll be worth a wait. It's ready. It came together nicely. It came together it came together nicely. Success. God, early silver seekers feel so good when you get it. Even though it only saves like Maybe 10 seconds at best. It's just so nice to have it. Even on familiar ground, we, we must intrepid? stay vigilant. Uh, yeah, I got my bat hinge scarlet coil and one apple lamp, so I only need one alloy shooting and an apple lamp for later. Aren't we intrepid? Feels so good knowing you're gonna get to leave Gorma with a run intact. I know that doesn't sound like much, but like Gorma actually is like one of the biggest RNG factors in a run. Alright, there's at least one there. Very nice. There's zero there, that sucks. Alright, I got seven. That's pretty average. Aren't we intrepid? My PB had 10 already, but, you know, I'm not running to beat my PB in terms of luck. I'm running to beat my PB in terms of execution. Aren't we intrepid? I feel like that's the main reason to keep running. Once I, what, like, if I get, like, a 30-second PB... And I feel like I made no major mistakes. I'm pretty sure I'm done with this category. Just put it down. I know that's not a huge PB, but it's like, it's what I feel like is the most uh, reasonable. That was a nice change of pace. This is becoming right. Remind me why we're here again. Cool. I got the last flower I need. You have our gratitude. If I do get a PB, I think I'll just like casually play something on stream for a few days until I have my next run I want to do ready. Because I do need to learn like a new game. I know I know what my next run's gonna be now, but it's like uh <laughs> I need to practice. It's the easy word to put it. I need to practice, it's not an easy game. Or at least playing it optimally is not easy. I don't want to spoil it though, so. That's all you guys get to know. That's all you guys get to know about what the next game is. This is becoming addictive. 
I'll let you all know it's not Xenoblade. I'll give you that hint. That's, that's your hint. This is becoming it's no more of this RNG stuff for right now, that's for sure. I need a break from this. I don't think I'm done with this game, but I definitely, definitely am done with this category. Uh, I did not race for you in the next game, in the game I'm running. I think like I've I've checked out a few games that we've uh, run before in terms of speed running, because like some of them were kind of interesting, but like the uh, Tanuki Sunset I think was probably one of the best ones for me to pick up, and I took a look at the run; it was just not interesting enough. It was just inherently not interesting. It was like hold forward and just vibe for like 40 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, that's okay. But I don't feel like pushing a game where we the meta trying? is just hold forward. <laughs> I play enough hold forward games. We're good. Like if there was actually some drifting and like some other speed run, uh, speed tech in that, I probably would have done it. But otherwise, no. Aren't we intrepid? Intrepid. Oh goodness, these are not very good wood collections. Hayes is just not helping today. Hayes doesn't believe in good speed runs, I guess. Ghost Runner is too fast. Uh, I just wasn't interested in running that game. That's all I have to say. If you've seen one of my Dandara runs, I, I. I hope you don't think like games can get too fast for me. Thank you. Ghost Runner is My just bad. like it's a first person game and I get nauseous playing them for too long. I don't want to do that to myself every night. You don't know what Dandara is? Just like look up, uh, just just look it up on S. Uh, uh, no, not S. Uh, SRC. Just look it up on speedruns.com. If like, if you think my name's a lot on the Torna leaderboard, you're gonna have a lot of fun looking at the Dandara leaderboard. Thanks. I'm just happy we made someone happy. Okay, I need to get like a couple things here and then we're done collecting and hopefully Bathine will be nice. nice I, I cross my fingers that Bathine All will right. be nice. We're here again? Okay, good, we got all our stuff. Yeah, there's a few games I've run on my uh, on my speedrun.com page, but like the the two that I've run the most is this and Dandara. You can easily say that they define me the most as a runner. Adam is. What is Adam doing? You're really quite wise in the way of the world, aren't you, Hugo? Think you could teach me a few anecdotes? <laughs> Are you sure about that? No. He's quite I pressed A. If you wish, Laura, by tomorrow, please transcribe 100 pages of one of the Tornan epics. Try to treat me. I'm so mad. What a pleasant Press A, let me talk to him. That's not the first time I made that mistake, actually. That's the second time I made that mistake. <coughs> Mission accomplished then. Alright, demon. There we go. 
I don't know why. Yeah, I have. I usually keep like most of the runs I do on YouTube. You have our gratitude. Yep, it's the first game I started speedrunning. I started speedrunning that game because like there was no runners whatsoever. I was just like, this is this is so wrong. This game needs more runners, so I started running it. That's the same way I felt about Torna. Torna had like five or so runners, like five or so registered runs, and like one active runner. I was like, that's not okay. So I picked up Torna. It's usually like, it's just like games I like a lot that don't get very many runners. Those are the ones that I pick up as speed runs. Nice break. Where is Laura? Laura. Oh, there goes the Geon. How is that not a joint combo finish? What the heck? Time for the fringe to go. You really shouldn't have. Looks like we'll be pretty even with my PB, which is good because that's like a 30 second time save. This is about a minute out from here to leave when you don't need to do uh, machine turn in, machine parts turn in. But yeah, as far as like other games I've run, I've also done like a few runs of Grand Blue versus like the RPG mode. It's which is much more like a beat 'em up than it is like an RPG, which I find to be pretty fun. I also did like I think like a, way back like a year or so ago, I did like a couple runs of H and K the fighting game. I definitely need to go back and redo that because someone found a way better strat with another another character. I just use Kenshiro because it's Kenshiro, man. You got to play Fist of the North Star with, like, the coolest character in the game. That's just how it works. You like the nice people at the entrance to Orentia? In Punitopia, yeah, that's kind of a weird place. I'm surprised you made it in there already, though, because you have to get like a whole bunch of moonstones uh, turned in. Like Double Dragon or River, C River City Ransom? Uh, it's kind of hard to like explain as like uh, we cannot turn them away. Beat them up, but it is much more in the vein of like a 2D no no second plane kind of thing going on. And then it has like really big bosses, so it doesn't compare to those other ones. You do level up, you do level up, and you do have like different elements and stuff like that. It's like it's like a uh, beat 'em up with like random RPG elements is the best way to put it. Let's make Hayes collect stuff. These are all the Hayes fans out there. Anything good here? Anything good here? Scott Pilgrim, I think you've told me about that one a few times. I, I still have not played that game. <laughs> Even though I've heard good Here's things something. about it. Dang, Hayes is OP. She got me all the Lactonut in the first poll. Oh, here's something. Pulls out a million things. Yeah, okay. That's just something. Well, here we are. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? 
Oh, here's something. Yeah, that's pretty good collections. It's a little short. I mean, short's honestly up my alley nowadays. When it comes to like speedrunning and stuff, like you prefer really well-made experiences that don't take too long to get through. You love, you, like, you really appreciate the tailored content is like the right, right way to put it. Torna is like a really good example of that. Of the things I, I prefer nowadays versus what I used to prefer. It's like I don't prefer the mountain buffet of good content that like you have to like dig through all day to find the good stuff. I just want all the good we stuff right in front of me. I'm very likely to have a level 21 uh, Hugo, even though I want 22. Yeah. I shall defend my emperor against all assailants. If I had gotten maybe a, uh, maybe the joint combo on Bathine would have done it. it has, has buggy online? Oh boy, my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, like. Okay, I gotta be real here. So you guys probably don't know this game, but I used to play. Uh, I used to play a game called Tree of Savior, which is like an MMO. It's, it came out like a few years ago, and like I played it at launch, and oh my god, it was so disgustingly buggy at launch, and it was I was like having the time of my life. It's like this game is so broken. He 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 he. It was so stupid, like. I remember one time they had a bug where like if everyone like there's like a bunch of different maps right and if no one was on the map or in the channel the the whole map would crash and if you tried to if you tried to go there you would crash too and you could not log back in with that character they had to do an emergency maintenance for that and it was so funny it was just like why is this so broken oh man it was just so dumb i loved it I loved it to death. I don't know what it is about broken games that make me just have like a time of my life, but yep. That's my story. Work hard enough, and our efforts work hard enough. There was another time where they put in like a major update and they broke like they broke like all the chat boxes. Like you couldn't sh like you couldn't use the world chat. You couldn't use like the guild chat. You couldn't use the party chat. You could only use regular chat with other people nearby you. It was so dumb because it was like a huge release too of the game. Like they added like 16 classes or something like that. It's like the game was broken. Oh, it was just every time, every time they tried to do anything, it was like, why is this game broken as heck? It was, it was just such a blast. It was such a blast playing such a broken mess. I miss it. I really do. I don't know why I miss it either. It's not like what it used to be. Now it's all like working and not garbage. Ugh, what a shame. I kind of hate world chat. Same, but also not the same. Like, I love the drama of world chat in, like, most MMOs, but not always. Please don't kill me. I can survive one auto. Take it. Poke him in the butt. Why do I have two people on me? Make it stop. Can you please break? Just one break here. There you go. Oh, I can't get him off me. Oh, 
This won't joint combo, but it should kill you. You really do have a lot of trouble keeping your power in check. Don't Good split. Yeah, when it, when it comes to like just like chat rooms and stuff, like if it's drama, I'm you okay with it. <laughs> if people are getting mad at each other, I'm okay with it. <laughs> like I'm just the kind of person that's like, is there chaos somewhere in the world? Oh, that's perfect. Like you can't, you can't just be happy in life. No, you have to make it so everyone's angry somewhere at some point in time. Is that terrible to me? It probably is, but I don't care. Basically, like I'm like Malos, but uh, I don't think I don't find humanity terrible. I just find humanity kind of funny. Real question is, would Polecat make a good villain? I don't know the answer to that. Only the cat does. Yeah, I got. Ooh, I got a double. Very nice. Hugo, make it. Hugo, I believe. We can run. Good job, Hugo. I don't know what you just did there, but good job, Hugo. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? I am always learning. You know, I don't remember how much I need for Hugo's stuff. Leave ever better. Okay, yeah. Wisdom to lead ever it's like 2,000 you need. <laughs> Tawny Carrot, go. Aren't we intrepid? Okay, I got a single, not bad. Wait, I got a double. I have to pick it up, though. That was awkward. Dude, I just got perfect nests. Let's go. Let's go. We just saved like a minute. We get to keep that minute too if we don't die on Jagron. But if we die on Jagron, it's probably reset. <laughs> you sure we'll win? He's like level 20. He's really big. That's my point. He's a really big boy. Waiting on Adam. Her always. Perfect. Except uh, it's a break. <laughs> so this probably won't kill. Is Adam still in too? Or is it Mithra? If Adam's in, or if Mithra's in, yeah, okay, then we can probably get the topple here. Hopefully before I die. But nah. At least the launch happens, yeah. I hate when it does that. How are you still alive? Die. Thank you. Man, double stack break does like so little damage in Torna compared to base games. look at us. Of course we'll win. Be careful. We've angered them. Like, I don't know what it is about playing this that it just feels like double stack break does like nothing. Don't you know who I am? Allow me. Oh my god. Hugo. Hugo, please. Good job, Hugo. You shall burn. 
Okay, I don't want Hugo to die. Put them on the ground. Oh my god, Hugo. I'm waiting for Hugo to switch. Okay, there he goes. Okay, she got heat on. That's all that matters. <laughs> Fight's over. <laughs> Let's go home. Good job, Hugo. <laughs> I did not sacrifice my tank to win that fight. Size doesn't matter. What are you talking about? Metal face is huge, and I can't even do more than two damage to him. It's not till I get my anime powers that their size doesn't matter. You have to understand. Once you have anime powers, then size doesn't matter. That's how it works. That's how anime works. Also, I hope I have enough Tawny Carrot. I might be short. So is Ion. Okay, Ion doesn't count because Ion sucks. That's actually like one of the worst final bosses. Like it's it feels so undef like when you beat Ion, you're like, was that it? What was I mean, you made me go through the ringer to beat freaking <laughs> beat Zanza, but okay, I guess there we go. Goodbye. We shall handle guess that's it. over. Oh, dude, I got all my Tawny Carrot. We're saving time. No, I went to the wrong place. We're losing like eight seconds. Pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? <laughs> now minus 27. Even We're about to go to minus two minutes, I'm not going to lie. This is Welcome to the wild ride that is uh, Torna Glitchless. A happy conclusion. <laughs> Someone has to donate points. I don't want to ruin the 64. I won't lie. It feels good. Do they still not have the points thing on mobile fixed yet? Where like you can't donate to community goals until you have you're, you're uh, on a on a, an app or what? No, not an app. What, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, yeah, mobile. You can't donate points on mobile to right. community Where goals for some reason. Next? It's a real shame. It's like a crime. Except for it's not. It's just lazy programming. If lazy programming became a crime, you'd have to, like, put every single programmer into prison. <laughs> like, I'm not joking about that. There's a lot of lazy code out there. People getting points in for the Hugo Solo. I better make sure the Hugo Solo updates then. Because, like, for whatever reason, if the window's not open... It won't, it won't update. Also, I forgot to start hat pull. It's a real shame. I know you guys all want to vote on hat pull. You're here for the not gourmet part of the run. Dude, you made it. This is becoming addictive. Gormont is such a dumb part of the run, I'm not going to lie. I really don't like the Gormont part of the run. It's got so many issues. The main issue just being, oh, it's a collectathon, but not the good kind. Aren't we intrepid? Yeah, give me the stuff. Whatever. I don't need that many things from there anyways. This is becoming addictive. Ah, bladed Holly, I just want an extra coronet, just in case I don't the get one. Suspense is killing me. You're coming with me, treasure. You know, Vaxherd says I have a very dangerous collection routing, but like my collection routing is literally just like, oh, this spot drops the thing. Let's go for it. 
<laughs> the odds exist. It's not dangerous. This is becoming addictive. Good kind of collect a -thon. The good kind of collect a -thon's like Mario Odyssey, Banjo Kazooie, Super Mario 64, where like getting the item is fun. If getting the item is fun, then it's a good collect a -thon. If getting the item is not fun, then it's just kind of a. Yeah, okay, that was we a thing. This is becoming so addictive. Bad. See what we have here. All right, hat pull. Let's go. You like linear platformers better? I I will respect treasure. your choice to like platformers. But I do, I do like the collectathons a bit. Though there are some collectathons that are like inherently not as you're good because like after you're done with them, there's like yeah, okay, I'm done now. Huh? Linear collectathon platformers. How does that play? How does that work? All right, remember everybody, if you don't vote on hats, GD will come in your sleep and ask you to vote for hats. And it'll be very awkward, so don't do that. Make sure you vote for hat. Ah, this is new. Which hat you vote for is up to you, but you have to vote for hat. It's just not right if you don't vote for the hat. Level design's a lot more solid than linear platformers. I will, I, will, I will give you that. It's a lot easier to make a linear platformer that plays good. I'm standing on top of her while giving her avocados. This is how I assert dominance, really. You just stand on top of somebody and beat them to death, death with avocados. doesn't have much diversity in speedrunning routes. I mean, the fun part about routing is figuring out the fastest part. It's not really the, oh, I can do this or this way. I know some people really like when you can do more than one route, but there's very, very few games that actually offer that uh, out there. Like, you have to understand the rarity of that. Aren't we intrepid? Like, the and the games that offer that are usually because, like, one route is so stupidly difficult. Good job, Ajian. This is becoming addictive. They have four categories that have the exact same route for 30 minutes. Wow. Aren't we in 30 minutes of the same route is pretty rough. But I mean, like. It can still be okay depending on like the length of the runs. Like if they're like two hours, then I guess it's not so bad. But like Dandara is like the first this 10 minutes is the same for all runs this and like the shortest run is 30 minutes. Perfect base of operations. This is becoming addictive. Please, one cotton branch. That's not a cotton branch. Aren't we intrepid? You know, this probably could have been a gold had I uh, gotten Aren't a cotton branch here. Okay, there's a cotton branch. Safe. Yo, how's it going, GD? You see, once hat pull starts, that's when GD shows up. You just missed the part where I cheated and got perfect nest, GD. It was great. Well, here we are. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? Forty-minute runs. Oh my god. 
<laughs> so, 75% of the run in an any percent is like the same run. No, thank you. No, I would not run that. I'd only run one category at best. Is this hat full senses? Never turn a blind eye to people in need. Maybe he has like his like uh his alarm clock just like set for hat pull. Whenever I start a hat pull, he wakes up because his the alarm goes off. Why did he rig his alarm clock to that? I have no clue. You have to ask him. I'm not GD. Much appreciated. I see Knitted is in a slight lead. My alarm goes off at 7.30 no matter the poll. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I want to start a segmented uh, Xenoblade Definitive Edition Hundo today, but I was too lazy to make splits. That's an advanced feel right there. I don't know about that feel. We made it. Just going to wait to do the run all at once. I mean, you got to practice, you know. Like, the best way to practice is oftentimes to do segmented runs, especially with runs that go over, like, the eight-hour mark. Because you kind of need to put a timer on yourself. The suspense is killing me. Xenoblade 2 Hundo all at once. Oh boy. No one's even done a run of that yet. But I mean, the reason that run hasn't happened is because uh, the, the madman who would do that is uh, does not like the game as much as the other Xenoblade games. Also known as Legrand. Practicing hundo lol. I don't I don't know if that's a lol. You don't want to be doing that thing for like 48 hours and then being like, yep, I want to kill myself. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go to the inn. Not really losing time there though. Maybe I'll be stupid enough to do it once more. Uh, sure. I know I just have absolutely no interest in uh, runs that last longer than, like, nine hours. That's just it, too so much. Consider it done. That's just too much. Like, maybe a little bit over eight's okay, but, like, a nice of pace. after right. a certain point, it's like, no. My first run was going through the route was 38 hours. That's a lot of time. I work 40 hours a week. I can't even imagine myself. Uh, I can't even imagine myself working for 48 hours, 38 hours a week, even though I work 40. Like, it's just like working. Uh, I don't know about that. But speed running for 38 hours. Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't do a game in one setting unless you can beat it under two hours. Nice I mean, what about All two right. hours and 40 minutes? No no reason I'm giving that specific time right now. Actually, any percent for this is two hours, 15 minutes, so that's a bit of an improvement. Considering how broken any percent is, you think it'd be faster, can you? Nope. Looks like it's knitted today, boys. I've settled into liking two to six hour runs. Dude, like any run under 30 minutes is like, how perfect can you make it? It's always, it's, it's always like there's so little room for error. I don't inherently hate that, but like 
it does get to a point where you're just like, this is ridiculous. Runs under 10 minutes are like, you, you're not allowed to make mistakes at all. Like, the longer the run, the more mistakes you're allowed to make, and that's kind of nice. A nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again? Because, like, I can't imagine, like, playing, like, Mario 1 where you're trying to save, like, what is it, like, what I don't even remember how many frames a frame roll is. I think it's, like, 21. Just doing all that work to save a third of a second. Even it's like, uh, stay I'm good. <laughs> Only two games I've played can be beat under two hours without doing speedrunner strats. I think I've... I think Dan Dara can actually be beaten like Even on familiar two ground, hours ish without doing speedrunner strats. But that's like if you're trying to beat the game, not if you're like uh, trying to explore all the stuff, which is kind of half the fun when you're playing a Metroidvania. So, though it's not two hours anymore, they added a whole bunch of content, and people definitely get lost in that nowadays. This is becoming addictive. Now it's more like four or five. I may play Torna, then learn Glitchless. Dude, you got to learn any percent. Learn any percent. Don't don't learn Glitchless. To, I, I will full-heartedly tell you, learn any percent. It is an easier run. If you beat me in any percent, I will come back to get you in any percent. If you beat me in Glitchless, I'm not returning to Glitchless. Once I get my last Aren't run on this, I'm done with this category. Us. Boo, Glitchless good. I mean, the fights are good, but it's like... There's just so much RNG, I just can't recommend it. All right, remind me why we're here again. Like, I'm running it right now. I love this game, but at the end of the day, like, the RNG in this is brutal. You have like, I just saved a minute and a half earlier because the nests were nice, and that's a really weird thing to say. Or actually, I saved a minute. The other half, Give the other 30 shot. seconds Next is just going to be time lost later, actually. Nothing I can do about that. This one I'm quite may it serve you well. Pretty solid. Now. And and pretty solid if I say so myself. It tastes better than it looks. Probably. Mm. It tastes better than it looks. Probably. Probably. I Ooh, do I have a 33 friends. Hugo? I don't even know how I get a 33 Hugo, but 33 Hugo is such a boss. Yes, thank you, game. To my siblings in arms. If I say so, I mean, <laughs> you, you'll, you'll definitely, like, here's the thing. We have a 100% drop chance on all collectible items we need to get in any percent. Right. So it just speeds up the run to, to a, a, a degree that's like, oh, you can't even compete with this in... Uh, the other category. Oh, I'm running any percent? Okay. Sick. Mass. Our efforts are... Glitchless also naturally as a harder category is something I'd recommend for learning after you have done any percent runs. Think it is an Yeah, Blue Gate Skip has gotten me a couple times. Admittedly, like most times I fail it, it's because I'm playing bad, though. Know? It's not the worst thing ever, but it does suck when it happens. Okay, where's my machine hunter? Ugh. Aggro attack, there it is. What's Blue Gate Skip? Uh, that is a very, very hard jump in this game. Uh, compared to Zombie Jump, 
It is not as intensive on your hands, but it is harder to perform. And it's like one of the last things you do in the run. Basically, imagine door clip, but like you can actually be good at it. It's a very difficult trick, and it takes a lot of time to master. I think, uh, I think I spent like eight hours learning it. I know, okay, that ant's walking on the wall. Quick, creep me out, ant. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Gren said he sent, spent like something like 20 hours on learning that trick. Of course, Gren likes to over-exaggerate, but it's still a grand number. Platforming on a not-platformer is a pretty good way to describe it. It's just like, I don't know what it is about Xenoblade games and having like really wonky and hard-to-land jumps in them, but yeah. Well, no. uh, it, it's a really you wonky and hard-to-land jump, just like door Stop clip, just are. like skeeter clip. To write about this in my journal. The plague of Xenoblade uh, speedruns. Platforming. All right, let's see if gargoyles are nice tonight. That was a nice change of pace. Right. They better be nice, because last night they killed the run. These guys will, like... I, I, I have a really bad record with these guys whenever I get perfect nests. So they could bop this run to you. How reliable. You have my thanks. I'm glad to have been of service. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whoosh. Almost midnight. It's almost peak pull cat hours. Wait, it's past midnight here. I got started a little bit late tonight, so sorry about that, guys. But I, can keep on going. I had a Especially couple things to do rate. before starting runs. It takes time and effort to get this good. This is how I'll protect you all. This is how I'll protect you all. It's 1 a.m. the best time zone. What's the best time zone? I am always learning. No, no, this one, Mickey. Standing on the shoulders of Titan. More to add to my repertoire. Excellent. Standing on the shoulders. Central? Oh, okay. Someone's pleased to see us. I think I'm central. Pretty sure I'm central. So I'm pretty sure the other one's mountain. And Hugo failed to topple. He I think he resisted topple There we go. Oh I didn't mean to ice. No, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Whatever. Just do whatever you guys. Hit them hard. Okay, that was really bad of me, but at least he's at half. Alright, just use the thing, guy. Dang it. It's haze tier three. It's going to take too long. Yeah, that was kind of good anyways. Oh, good. Break. Uh, I don't... Oh, I do have I do have a top out. Or a smash out. Do it, Haze. There you go. Good job. Wisconsin, good. Oh yeah. I, actually, that. How'd you wait? How'd you guys know? Oh, Greg knows what town I live in, or what? Not what town. What? What state I live in? I was like, wait a second. Am I being doxxed? Is my chat after me? Hear an awkward knock on my door. This is the polecat police. Oh shit. 
We heard you doing very unpull cap things here. How'd you find that out? I don't. I didn't tell anybody about that. Oh, I really love. I really love, just watch these misses. I hate these fights so much. At least I got a blow down there. Why is Hayes out? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm very confused. Why are you out, Hayes? <laughs> like, there was no one low there. Why are you out? What are you doing here? If I could like launch ice three, that'd be good. Or you know what? The smash should kill. Okay, not bad. These fights are kind of weird right now. But I screwed up the first one again somehow. I don't even want to talk about how I did that. Because I don't know how I did it. GD already on his way. GD, don't you? Don't you? Uh, you're kind of a few time zones away, don't you think? Oh, I screwed that up. I'm supposed to auto to you. It's not really a big problem though. You just get another chance to get scan anyways. A good button. No break. We're waiting for Hugo to switch again. Um, no. I would. I. I was very surprised by that. That could have easily killed me. Like, I was in the right spot if Hugo took the aggro, but not if the... Okay, it was very awkward. What are these guys doing right now? They're just trying to kill the run, I think. They're cheating. No cheating allowed. We saved time on gargoyles. It's just a small lake. <laughs> I mean, if it's a small lake, you can just drink it, right? It's like Kool-Aid. Wait, it's, did you say the other side of a pond? Is that the pond we put a rock into? How did I get max affinity so quickly? I'm not mad about it. I don't care. For usual, waiting for Adam. Uh, I'm not gonna get it up. Shame. Just a little bit too late. It's too salty. You're salty. This is officially a good pull can hours run? Yeah, pretty much. I'll take gravity. Sure, that's a good button. Can I get stone? I'll take water, team. Don't you dare hit me with that. Alright, looks like I got a haze or something. All right, what the heck is on this guy? Uh, I guess we go Hayes. Come 
I'm gonna go Laura here so that Jin gets another stack. I'm not sure if that's worth it. We're not done yet. Open wide. Don't I shall leave it in your capable hands, Dion. This is far from over. Jin, I need your help. Mithra, please hit one of the two. Not, no, not, just don't hit lightning. Okay, good. Alright. We got a run started officially. We're past all the dumb early game. Past mid game. I've learned something. All credit to my siblings in arms. Oh, I'm loving this. Good job, my partner and her minions. I lost a little time because I had to get Haze out to do the tier two, but other than that, that was a good fight. Heads up, people. With focus and discipline, right. this should be no problem. These are these should be easy. <laughs> Of course, they always meet me for no reason. Adam, there you go. Good Adam. Oh, I did not see the element breaker. That's my fault. He kidding me? You just have to break him. There you go. Adam's out, so I'm not going to risk him smashing. Yeah. Because he can launch, but he can't smash if I uh, go for the tier 3. Another element breaker. Jesus. By the way, I think that fight, this fight's actually more interesting than any percent. Because you try to do like dumb stuff to the second gargoyle instead of just ultimate aurora him as well gonna head to bed have a nice night baz thank you for the good luck uh whoops so we're gonna lose about a minute and a half later but other than that uh that's all the time lost to rng and the rest just comes down to me playing good Oh, I should probably start the prediction, yeah? Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. See if you guys want to bet on whether or not tonight's going to PB. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. There we go. Prediction time. Get your points in. Get your bets in. It's time to gamble away. Uh, see, see, see how well I can make all of you lose points. I guess. That was a nice chase. So it was me. I just bet against me. End game's getting harder to complete now. But I'm not allowed to bet. No. 
Because I'm the streamer and I have a million points. I'm not allowed. You can win points to the next hat pull. I mean, if this PB is the next hat pull is not going to be for a while. I'd probably do different pulls for the next game, though. I said I'd do you it. You go falling asleep. Everyone's falling asleep. Jesus. Wake up, guys. We have a speed run to do. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. All right, we have to do everybody's favorite uh, community service, picking up trash. What a pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to? Don't you worry. 30 points to 30 points. That's a uh, big wagers tonight. Usually it's like nobody bets anything. So I'm, I'm impressed by this. These numbers, right? That was a nice change of pace. All right, let's pick. Let's pick up some litter. Who left this copy of Sonic 06 on the ground? It's a shame. This is becoming addictive. Who <laughs> left this copy of Sonic the Black Knight on the ground? Wait, is that is that the name of that one? No, it's like Sonic the Lost Rings or something. I can't remember the name of that one. Who <laughs> left this copy of Sonic Forces on the ground? Look, I'm I'm not I'm not saying anything here. It's because of your advertisement. Good job, GD. This is why you're the mod. The mod. There are no other mods. It's just GD. When you ask about all the other mods, he takes you to the back room, and it's only GD. And you're like, it's all GD, and it's always has been. I had to meme. I'm sorry. I'm not actually sorry, but I'll pretend I'm sorry. You scratch our backs, and we'll scratch yours. God, those breaks on gargoyles were so lucky. I'm still thinking about them. I'm still thinking about the one I dropped. Bad play, but I I don't I don't play like I'm gonna get them. I always play like I don't get them. So. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. I'm not mad. Pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? This is becoming addictive. I do need to check uh, Minoth affinity chart. Because he actually has like important stuff that's unlocked. Awkwardly late. <laughs> that was quite the voyage. Right. Where shall we head to next? I don't need this right away, but I need this in like the next two minutes. Right. Who that was a nice change of pace. All right. Remind me why we're here again. Suspense is killing me. I'm gonna go for all the extra wood here because I did not get a lot of haze procs earlier. And you only save a few seconds for not grabbing it, so. Aren't we in 
intrepid. Basically, it's not worth. You're coming with me, treasure. That's like all memento bark. I need muscle branch game. Come on. This I don't want to be mean by muscle branch tonight. That'd be such a bad feeling. Like that honestly would be the worst feeling. I'm not going to lie. That was a nice chase. It's easily my least favorite collectible in this run. Even though other collectibles will easily end the run. That one I'm like, it's like, there's nothing you can do about it if you don't get enough, basically. You can only hope you get enough. And maybe pull, uh, stop collecting early if you get enough. That's it. Now, let me pretty good. All things can. I think there is a tree point next to the kids, but I don't think it drops Muscle Branch. I think it drops a Deerwood, which I don't need as badly. Suspense is killing me. Oh boy, we found You're a chest in the ground. Me, what a great quest. That quest is actually pretty slow. We wouldn't do it if it didn't unlock a bunch of other plus like threes and stuff. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Oh, that was awkward. I almost missed. I'm going to try it anyways. Aren't we I don't know what's in it, so I may as well try it, right? It's vinegar leaf. This is becoming it was a trap. <laughs> That's three seconds I'm not getting back. It feels bad. Oh, there's another three sec seconds I'm not getting back. All right, a Gion. It's time to do. It's time for Gion's best performance in the run, where he picks up rocks and we all watch him. Good job, a Gion. I don't know why uh, Lori even bothers to say many hands will make light work. It's all—it's all a Geon. A Geon's hands make light work. I'd like you to trust us with this. Uh, these are sketchy fish collections, but I think I have some bony tongue sharks, so I think I should be good. I only have one. Okay, I have five of these, though. I did not see I had five trout. I thought I only had, like, one or two. Usually, you don't end up with very much trout in a run because you only get it early game. I do only what his majesty asks of me. How about next time you help yourselves? Oh, that's so sweet. All right, Ajian, do the thing. Oh man, guys, Ajian's so good. Look at this. Look at all this gameplay we're using a Geon for. 
It's amazing. Okay, Gian, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh yeah, it's almost like this is predetermined and it's basically Gian not really doing anything. But we're pretending he's doing something. It makes him look important in the run. I don't even use a Gian in the final uh, chain anymore, actually. He only gets used in the Malice one chain. Feels bad. But he gets to pick up rocks. I'm sure Gion's ever grateful of doing that. Thank you. Good enough for you. All right, Ajian, you can do it. Remove rubble. Oh, he's he's just the best. You know, I should pretend like this is RNG just to just to like marathons be like. You know, aren't you know? Gian doesn't always get this, but you know, uh, we'll we'll see if he hits it this time. <laughs> just, just like all six of them, like yeah, all these are small RNG chance. It'd be so stupid. People will get excited over nothing. Oh, that'd be so mean. Right. Where shall we head to next? <laughs> be honestly so mean. I, I don't know if I could do that. You know, I forgot to go get Ferris beast meat, but I can go get some. It's like the number one thing I forget nowadays. But it's not like the worst thing ever to forget because like there's just no good spot to farm them at anyways. At least for low level ones. Much appreciated. Now I gotta scooch to uh this area woodland, so. Why, thanks. I may as well head to Gormont and I think it's like uh, Lakeshore Campsite's like the best spot. Cause there's some up the hill. There's like three or four up there. I think we've done what's expected of us. I only need three tonight, so. All right, Aegean's done picking up heavy stuff. So Aegean's done being used in the run, essentially. I think we'll use him for like a water orb later, and then we'll hope he never shows up at any other fight any other time. I don't know why they had to make it. Even Aegean's rearguard arts are not very good in this. No one has good as good of rearguard arts as Bridget does. Bridget has insanely good rearguard arts. Most people don't look at those, and I don't blame them. But like when you look at like Bridget's rearguard arts, you're like, wait, what? She has like so much good stuff here. Damage, aggro up, and uh, defense down on enemies. It all looks so different. All right, remind me why we're here again. Well, Mithra, we're basically here to get in trouble. Stay alert, everyone. In any case, it pays for the Good. I'm all set. Okay, there's one. There's two, three. Okay, we'll just kill this guy. Get him out of here. Please? Okay, good. So that's basically like the guaranteed time loss. 
I had going on in this uh, in this split. Right. Though I have to worry next split if I have enough muscle branch, which can easily lose a minute. Oh, good. Adam was ready fast. That should hopefully kill. Not sure, though. Yeah. Good job. More water to my mill. Fantastic. I have one fight and three quest turn ins left. What a pleasant stroll. Like this quest turn in, second quest turn in, third quest turn in, fourth, fifth quest. Okay, there's like just quest turn ins happening. What an exciting run. Why quest I know why quest turn ins are slow, but Thank why they have to make them slow? It's like one of the things that hurts this game the most is the speed game. It's not the fact that you have to do the quests. Is that the quests are slow. Like, they did really didn't need this complete thing for you. here. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you what. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. I thanks. You know, I'm starting to wonder if GD got his points in for uh, to Hugo Solo this. today. I bet he forgot. I shouldn't even rem remind him. That w that's too nice of me. Oh, he did. Oh, man, I missed it. Even on familiar ground, Feels bad. You must stay vigilant. I'd update the counter, me, but it would actually show the prediction thing, and I'm too lazy to do that. Too lazy to make my layout look good. No, sir. Can't have that. I hope we'll be able to help. So the reason I'm losing a minute and a half is also because this turn in takes forever. It's like 30 seconds. It's like really stupid. Thanks for that. One less problem in the world. <laughs> I talked to him too soon. There we go. I won't lie. It feels like, good. <laughs> I hate that. You talk to the NPC too soon after completing the quest, even though you, you're able to friend him, but not right away. No, sir. He won't be your friend right now. He'll be your friend, like, just, just any bit from now. All right, it's time to see how bad the time loss is. Oh wait, we have Volt ready. Sick. Yo, yeah, that's a... Uh, I don't know if that will kill, actually. Are we actually the same level as this guy? Oh, he's dead. That was a really fast fight. Thank you, game. I will take that. You have like what ten minutes left to get like your uh, predictions in for channel points? Can you put like Thank points you. in on both sides? 
Can you just like play both sides? Like, yeah, I'm gonna put one point on this side, but if I put three points on that side, I'll get one point back. <laughs> no, oh, you have to pick a side. Sorry, everybody, you have to choose whether or not the dress is black and blue or gold and yellow or gold and white. Thanks. This is actually pretty good. I thought I'd be losing more time than this. Much appreciated. You didn't have to, but thanks. You have our gratitude. Okay, at this point, like, it's just muscle branch I have to worry about. And I'm very worried about it. I'm glad it all worked out. <laughs> Like, I guess Blant could bot me too in this next split, but he's usually not. He can only get so bad, is like the big thing. We Muscle Branch control you all day, and there's nothing you can do about it. What a pleasant stroll. Thank you. If you're cu ever curious why that last uh, split was called Thick, it's because it used to be called Community 3. But I changed it over to finishing a quest for Thicker Than Water. Because this Lighting the Way quest would completely you know, screw up that, how that split works. Thick water. I mean, right, water can be thick. You just uh, I I okay. I have no, I have no clue how to make this argument. I I changed my mind. I don't know. I don't know. It is spelt correctly for the quest, but I I spelt like an idiot because I'm an idiot. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Look, look, I like water, okay? Water's a great beverage. <laughs> Full cats can read minds. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, so I, I assume... I've had people ask the question before as well. So I just assume every once in a while I should probably talk about it. I just don't know what to rename it to. It was just like, what, that one good quest? I mean, I could rename it to that. Change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. We are here to walk all over the sand garden and make everyone in chat uncomfortable. Otherwise, known as a good time. God, I have I have no idea what my muscle branch count is. We're about to find out. We Please. turn them away. Be like nine at least. It could, it could really be low. Like, I got really bad luck with it. It could be like five. Even on familiar ground, we must five would be vigilant. crushing. I would have to get really good luck to keep the run. But what is a sand garden? Uh, it's a thing that's kind of more of a thing in Japan than it is in the States. So you kind of would only know it if you're like a super weeb, I guess. Which I guess begs the question of why do I know it?
Dang it, I missed it. I tried to push Bridget all the way down again. Ever since I've started trying, I, I've never get it. Oh, it's actually a thing. Yeah, no, it's actually a thing. I don't think it's called a sand garden, though. I just call it that for uh, clarity's sake. Because, like, what gets. What is even more obvious than sand garden? Like, it's a garden with sand. I got it. Don't don't have to don't have to get any more specifics than that, right? Pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? Oh please. Please be ten. <gasps> Thank you. I didn't I did not think it was ten. Oh my god. I thought it was like seven or eight. Oh, thank God. I didn't lose any time to that. It would have been so crushing. Every time I get a run I really like, that's usually when Muscle Branch becomes a big bop. Also, I'm playing pretty good tonight with my menus. And Jin got stuck on a barrel. Okay. Don't know how Jin managed to get stuck on a barrel, but he did it. I'm proud of Thanks you, Jin. This is the power of Jin. It's my true form. As he runs into a barrel awkwardly. What a pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm going here. I remember the silver earrings too, so I'm not losing any time to that. I thought Jin turned the flesh eater after the events of Torna. Uh, yes. Skip and a jump later. You are technically correct. Even on familiar ground, we but must stay vigilant. Considering this is also like during the events of Torna, his final form, we already have to have it. Like he can't have a final form if he hasn't like already achieved it yet. Like this has to be his final form because he can't he can't go beyond this form. He's already stuck at this form. What I'm saying is the notion of a final form makes no sense. <laughs> like really I don't get it. Thank you. I do only what his majesty asks of me. Like, I can understand, like, if you're up against, like, a boss and, like, the game tells you it's a final form, but, like, when you watch, like, a stupid anime or something, they're like, this is my final form, like, Aren't you glad all right, you could, asked us. what if you lose your arm? Is that your final form then? Because, like, you're not getting your arm back. That's gone. Whatever. Not going to worry about it. We have, we have golfing to do. All right. Remind me why we're here again. And here, I thought we were being inconspicuous. That's very awkward. That could have... This was not quite enough. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye. Good, good fight. It's like Rex, we don't know what his final form is. Maybe I think final forms are stupid because I want for it to have a final form. Clearly that that's the reason. That 
with a nice change of pace. Actually, I think that fight was better than my PB. I might be saving time on this split. Though I'm also just kind of playing better, so I might save time anyways. Mega evolution of Furret. I mean, I guess it's better than those Alolas they were doing. Or not the Alolas, right, but the Galarians. Some of those Galarian forms I'm not a fan of. But it's like also like, I mean, you, you get your original oh, animals. This is awkward. I definitely like when they announce a Mega for like a Pokemon that sucks, though. It's so funny. Like Mega Beedrill, I'm like, man, that Pokemon's trash. It's something like that feels like so ironic about it. Like this Pokemon's awful. Here's the Mega form. Okay. So it's not awful now. Yes. All right. Mega Pidgeot. There's another one. Change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. Eight minutes. <laughs> no, it's just my golds are broken. Okay. You have the golds in my. Uh, I am honored. And my splits are very, very old. Like they're they're all sorts of messed up with other stuff. Especially for Community 3 and 4. Because I've rerouted Community 3 and 4 several times with the community. Right. We used Where to do really stupid next? stuff like Blade Coaching. That's why my early splits are more accurate, because I don't have to worry about Blade Coaching. And my late splits are like, why do you save like 8 minutes here? It's like, well, you see. You have it's because the game's gratitude. done. Alright, I have one quest left to pick up and pick turn in that quest and then pick up this quest. So we're almost there. We're almost done. We're almost to uh the final bits. Oh thank you. That's why I stopped trusting splits between Gargoyles and Court too. <laughs> He's not wrong. Core one's not that bad. That it's just community it. three and four. We'd be more than happy to assist. Core one is like, did I choose to pick up like Arts on Jin and Mithra, which loses time, but is more safety for Malos three? If you really wanted to be safe from Alice 3, you'd also pick up like Bridget Arts. Though I don't think that's worth it. I will tell you that we are uh, probably saving time on this split though. Hop, skip, and a jump later. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Like, I think I might need one more deer wood at best. Uh, and from there, I have everything for turn ins. And fun fact there's a tree point here that drops deer wood. Right. Where shall we head to what next? We got here? <laughs> I didn't get a sticky stick, though. I think I might farm out a sticky stick real quick. Should I? I mean, yeah, I should. I should. It's just that good for what we got here? Malice 2. Malice 2 is just a dumb fight. Okay, I didn't get a deer wood from that. There we go. There's a deer wood. Huh? Like, Malice 3 without a extra book on Laura. Extra good book on Laura is just a meme. Because he there's no way the tier three top old stack will kill. Nice 
All right. Remind me why At least not without getting some lucky crits. Okay, that'll do. I either have four or five insects, and that's both effective. Suddenly, it all looks so different. All right, remind me why we're here again. I have no idea why we're here, Mithra. You tell me. You're the speedrunner now, Mithra. You can see the future. You can already tell what the RNG is going to be. Mithra would be the best speedrunner. That was a nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again. Well, except for the fact that she seems to forget about the route every three seconds. That'd be an issue. Why, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, wow. I don't even know why I worried about Deerwood. I actually was shorter on Puzzle Tree. Shorter. Not short. Yeah, we're saving time on the split. There's like one minute left in the split. Or a minute and a half, excuse me. Thanks so I still have to go back to Gormont and pick up the last friend. The final friend. A happy conclusion. Reliable. Yay, we have all the friends. Friend get. That was quite the voyage. Right. Oh, I hate how long this frickin' cutscene takes. Or this load screen, rather. It's one of the reasons why I'm always punked by myself. It's just like, oh, we're there. We're going to save a whole bunch of time. And it's like, oh, yeah. 15, 20 second load screen. Forgot about you. Still time save, though. I didn't even think I, ha I, even think I had that much time to save there, but I will take it. I definitely appreciate that game. Also, I'm not playing Adam on purpose here. I just need to switch the party around at all, and it makes it it does the job. That was a nice change of pace. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Whoo, man! I am excited. I am like super excited. This is a good run. Like what makes this run crazy good is that like a first try blue gate skip, that's a 40 second time save. A good malice two quick kill. That's a 90 second time save. There's still time save left in the run. That's why that's why I like sometimes doing runs where like the end game's kind of bad or going up against runs where end game's bad. Cuz it's like, oh, I could lose time, but I could also just Gain a boatload of it and easily PB. Could you imagine if this run turned into like minus four minutes? Oh wow. my god, that'd be insane. That'd be absolutely insane. Minus three minutes is more realistic though. Let's get down to bit. Pretty good, all things considered. Pretty solid if I say so myself. I fight for my friends. I wouldn't be surprised if I have team level 48 for everybody. Yep. I believe I've gained a little skill. What an incredible feeling.
Oh, not this. This, yeah. See where's my infinity max attack? There it is. Looks like. All right. I th uh. I'll take chill uh, star slash. Yeah, I'll, I'll level up Jinards basically. That's what I'm gonna do. I will make. More. That'll be my safety. Polished to a high shine. This power is for you. Only cost a few seconds, and it gives me quite a bit of extra power boost for final chain. God, I hope you guys that voted that yes, this is a PB were right. If you're if everybody that voted against me, you're getting a, you're getting banned. Ah, this is new. This place would I'm make kidding. a perfect Anyways. base of operations. Core fight one, nothing special per always. I don't know why core fight one is like not really a real fight, and then core fight two is like a real fight. Why do you why do you keep getting off Laura? You just have to climb. That's it. Watch out, Greg. <laughs> just already names him. Get him. Yo, Blue Metal, how's it going tonight, buddy? You're catching a good run tonight. I'm helping. Good job. Good job with your helping. I appreciate the help. Uh, did you have to pick kill him on? Doing some Xenosaga 3 practice. Yeah, I was wondering where your uh, where your practice streams went. I actually enjoy practice streams. I know most other people don't, but I do. Because I'm a true fan. I'm a true believer in the practice. Man. I didn't even see that one back there. I know they're usually spawn five. Dude, we saved 0.8 seconds. This is the run. I guess we'll stick with these. Like, how can I lose if I save 0.8 seconds? If I save 0.8 seconds from every split from now on, I'm going to PB. I figure they're typically boring. I, like, the thing about, like, routing streams is, like, it's always a good time to figure out, like, how a game ticks, I guess. And because I do a lot of routing myself, routing and practice streams, because I do a lot of routing myself and I love doing routing and speed runs, I find them naturally interesting. So I guess it's just a I'm weird kind of thing. Good job, me. Good job, me, for being weird. That's a big thumbs up right there. I put a thumbs up in the chat if I was a, if I wasn't trying to go fast. 
Real question is if I'm going to land Blue Gate Skip tonight. Malice 2 did not give me a break yesterday, so he has to give me one today by that logic, right? So it just comes down to Blue Gate Skip. I had a terrible Blue Gate Skip the other night, too. Uh oh. I think we can spot him. Blow down. Good. I'm happy my logic works out. It'd be a shame if it didn't. That's how RNG works. Oh, that should kill, right? Yeah. Kill. Why is Adam? Oh, yeah, Adam is an extend because he's an idiot. Oh, my God. Did I have to take the parasitic drain? Okay, I need a little guy to heal up on. Oh, I missed the top. Okay, there's a topple. Uh, the topple's really important here, not just because of... Not just because of, like, normal reasons for all that stuff, but because of... But because it also gives me healing in this fight. I need tier 3. Are you kidding me? I'm this short for tier 3. I should kill him. Oh, get them off me. <laughs> I'm dead. That is like the worst thing that could have happened. I lose all my stacks on Jim. Okay, there's health though, so we can get back in this. Okay, I need another little one to heal up on. Please don't hit all of them, I don't want aggro from everything. Oh, interesting. Don't ether buster me while you're dying, please. Thank you. I need anyone with a tier 3 game, please. For tier 2, rather. Oh, screw it, I'll just tier 3 him. Yeah, that's not surprising for a death map fight. You lose out on so much damage when you, uh... Would you mind when you die. The first part again? And if you bring out oh, Haze, it's like the same. You lose like at least 20 seconds. Goodness, no, your majesty. I'm not surprised, though. That's a hard fight to get all the time save on. And that was a gold in my uh, PB. Here we are. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? Why does Mithra always want to rest at every... Look, Mithra, if we take time, we'll lose the world record, so stop. Be a more willing participant in this uh, speedrun. Thank you. I would appreciate that. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> Ah, that was not good enough. Thank you for the good luck, GD. 
Careful now, team. That's what happens when you stop paying attention. Yeah, that's better than PB. PB was third try. All right, there's only a couple things left, and that is uh, Malice 2 and 3. God, I love these fights, and I hate these fights. They're an example of, like, everything you can do in Torna that's sick and awesome, and they're also the example of everything that can go wrong in Torna, and they're uh, sick and terrible. This is new. This place would make a perfect base of operations. But nope. Go here. Standing on the shoulders of... More to add to my repertoire. Standing on the shoulder. Must have improved. I am always learning. There is still much experience to gain. All right. Please, I, I really, really don't want to do any more runs of this of this game. I love this game, or of this category. I love this game, but it has to end somewhere. It has to end. You can do it, Malice, too. You can just... Just get com just get broke right now. It's over. There you go. I got toppled. That's really bad. That yeah, that's really really bad. I have to I have to hope Laura gets another break. Now. That is insanely unlucky. Please, Laura, stay out. Come on, get a little one. Oh, not either. There's a break. Yeah, get on the ground. We're done with you. Adam, you have or come on. You have to get Ultimate Aurora ready now. Oh, just kill him. He's gonna live. Honestly, considering how everything just went there, that's as good as you can get for that. Dude, I failed to get a break and I still saved time. What the fuck? I can't believe that fight worked out. Alright, this is... 
I'm gonna probably be concentrating on this fight. I might talk about strategy and strategy and stuff, but other than that. <coughs> Excuse me. I will take Aqua if you do that. We're fine, I'll take him. There's Aqua. Okay, tier two. Saw that eater coming from a mile away. Come on now. <laughs> I need Earth the second he switches to uh, a Gion, he has a water ready. That's ridiculous. I still need Earth. I didn't need the Aqua there. I just thought it was Earth because I saw it pop out. I'm gonna let Laura do that, yeah. There, stone, finally. Does he move? Yeah, he moves. It's so obvious. It's so telegraphed when he gets three eaters. That is perfectly fine time for an armor match. Alright, we just need a break here and we're good to go. Uh, looks like this is not good enough. Because Silly back there is going to make sure he wastes as much time as possible. Now that will work. He didn't just armor, did he? No, that's a buster. Your 
<laughs> How the heck did Hayes get aggro there? Bridget, please hit win. That's all I ask. There you go. This is going to be a really gross full burst. that damage cap we lost some time there because like it was like instant in my pb but that was really good anyways all right this is it this is the last run this is the last run i'm doing this category this is beatable but i i like this run i did not make any mistakes in this run I can't be mad at this run, even if I didn't get a break on Malice 2. Ready to put another Holy win crap, I have a 51 Laura here. Stay with the flow of battle. Come on. For my Come on. Oh, no break, that's a shame. For my bond. For my bond. There we go. I missed the whatever. Can't wait for Hugo Solo. <laughs> they both got blown down. For my boss. For my boss. Gotcha. Heal while there's time. I'm fine. Just fine. Oh no, I didn't hit the break. No, I will never lose to someone like you. Shut away. I'm gonna lose a little bit of time here, that's fine though. Hey, quit wasting time, buddy. That was the worst Gort I've ever had, by the way. But I don't care. It's Gort. Oh, God. That run could have been better, but oh. All the mistakes are gone. All the, all the issues with the run. Are over. Thanks for the GG RPG hero. Thanks for everybody for making it to the stream tonight. I'll we'll have to find someone to host. Like, here's the thing. I could make this lower. Like, there is obviously easy time save here, and there's some time save down here, but it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it to grind this category out anymore. Shameless. To the very end. And I honestly, like, I don't care if Anel gets this world record. I don't care if Gren, or Gren gets this world record. I don't care if Baxter gets this world record. I don't care if Legrand Grand gets this world record. I'm not coming back for this time. This is this is the end of the road for me when it comes to Glitchless. I'm not taking it any lower. Such a pro, I wish. Pros actually, like, get paid and stuff. Somebody turn the gourd into that horrible thing. Oh my god, there's no one to host. What do we do, guys? We have know. to host somebody. It's a world record now. But Malice dying won't necessarily be enough to bring peace. Thanks to for the, the GG, Blue. That I am certain of. 
As long as there are people. Proto stream. What? Did I miss that? I suppose. I haven't followed. Don't say that. Things can change. There's always hope. It's blue metal arrival. Don't you think, Jim? Yes, you're right. As long as blades and humans are bonded. Yeah, it does say she's alive. I don't know why. Surely, someday. I don't know why it doesn't give me that. Whatever. We'll give her the house tonight. Yeah, thanks for thanks to everybody for showing up tonight. Uh, Hugo Solo at 68%. You guys should at least get another 1,000 points in. That will get you to a nice, even 69. Uh, but other than that, I will be, be uh, giving the host over. We're going to enjoy the credits. It's the last time we're going to be enjoying the credits for a while. Um, the rest of this week, I'll be streaming something else, probably casual playthrough. There's a couple games on my list I definitely need to play through, and I'm just going to stream them. Uh, specifically, the one I want to stream, Meta Wolf Chaos. I have I have to play that game, and unfortunately, it's not going to be the blind run, run this month. So, uh, I, I will at least get the nice casual playthrough in. Yeah, it's either going to be like Metal Wolf Chaos or like uh, Vanquish. I, I want to play both of those games. Because uh, for those that don't know, uh, Blind Race, or, you know, Blind Race, this month's Blind Race is going to be Snakey Bus. Unfortunately, Snakey Bus went out on the poll by like one vote. It was very tragic. I wished for so much, but Snakey Bus, it has to be. You know, is that one thing I appreciate about this running this game versus base game? Base game credits are like 30 minutes. They're super long. In the course of a lifetime, a man will see uncountable meetings and partings. Yet as your life's candle sputters and dies, whose face is it that rises? My NL he changed. I mean, the thing about Anel is Anel, he, he, he tries to be a streamer, right? Like, he wants to be influencer. He wants to be part of that. And, uh, you know, even though he wants to play Xenosaga 3, like, the reality is is that the viewers, the the donations, the subscribers, the everything else is in Xenoblade 2 and Xenoblade 2 content. And that includes very much Mithra and Smash. Who has not been afforded that? Stretches on without end. I'm debating not watching the I ending XC2 credits anyway. Down. As long as I keep walking, I can hold out hope that one day the time may. I don't know if the run's good enough. It's, it's worth watching, in my opinion. Death. That hope keeps me afloat. You won't come back. This is the road I must walk. Our paths will cross. Should we, in fact, ever meet again? On that day. I love giving him a hard time. You and, like, literally the entire world likes giving Anel a hard time. It's like a sport, almost. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not unique to you, I'll tell you right now. Blue Metal, like, messaged me the other day, how can I bully Anel? I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is how you do it.
So yeah, it looks like we're getting the end of the credits here. Thanks once again for everybody joining in. Uh, I'm going to pass you over to Aeon Frodo. If you don't know her, she is she does run, run Xenoblade. She also is running right now tonight three houses. So uh, do not be the, confused with three mouses or three hoses or three horses. <laughs>